Elements are the building blocks of all matter. Matter is anything composed of atoms. So elements are just different types of atoms. Matter includes this whiteboard, the water you drink, the air you breathe, even you yourself is considered matter because all these things are made of atoms. All elements have a chemical symbol, consisting of one of two letters, which is what is displayed on the periodic table of elements. The periodic table gives all the elements that have been discovered or made thus far. Notice how the first letter is always capitalized, and if there's a second letter, it is always lowercase. For example, the chemical symbol for carbon is C, and Fe is a symbol for iron, two different types of atoms. The periodic table also provides us with two numbers, important in determining the number of subatomic particles. The larger decimal number is the atomic mass of that element. When rounded to the nearest whole number, the atomic mass is called the mass number and is represented by the letter A. The smaller whole number is the atomic number of that element and is represented by the letter Z. Elements are represented by their chemical symbol, say X, with the mass and atomic numbers written to its left. The mass number is written at the top left and the atomic number Z is written at the bottom left. The easiest way to remember this is that they are always written from A to Z, big to smaller number. Let's look at carbon, which has a chemical symbol of C. Looking at the periodic table, we'll see the larger of the two numbers is a decimal 12.011, its atomic mass. We round it to the nearest whole number to get the mass number, 12, and write it at the top left. The smaller whole number, 6, is the atomic number Z and is placed in the bottom left. But what's the point of these numbers? Well, they help determine the number of three subatomic particles that each element has, protons, electrons, and neutrons. Let's look at iron. It has a mass number of 56 and an atomic number of 26. So from A to Z, iron would be represented with 56 written at the top left and 26 at the bottom left. The atomic number Z is equal to the number of protons. If the element is neutral, Z is also equal to the number of electrons. So since Z is equal to 26 for iron, iron has 26 protons and 26 electrons. The mass number A is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Because Z is equal to the number of protons, this equation can be rewritten. If we rearrange this equation, we see that the mass number minus the atomic number is equal to the number of neutrons. So for iron, A minus Z is equal to 30 neutrons. All in all, iron has 26 protons, 26 electrons, and 30 neutrons. For more help with chemistry, subscribe to Chemistry Ninja.